take and leave, otherwise she learned everything. You can, Anjali can read it. Oh, okay. And then uh, can her mother come here when she her mother talk with you? You can. And then she gonna you can explain that. that. She knows it all. Oh, okay. I just, because the parents are here, I want to make sure to explain to everyone. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Plastic. Okay, Anjali, come on, honey. Yeah. Anjali, let's go. Okay. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. I work with her when I'm here. Daddy, I work with you. Oh, yes. Good. Okay. Good. One second. Let me concentrate here. Yeah. It helps me too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What are you doing? By 14 and 7 and trying to do a balance. Yeah. 14 divided by. Sweden trade. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. It's for me. Wow, you are you divided by two. Hey guys, I'm look here, pay attention. And thirty-six divided by two. Whoa. First thing they need to learn the two multiplication tables, they need to memorize it. The second one is while doing it on the backers, <coughs> you need to compare the first digit of the dividend and the first digit of the divisor. Okay? This is small. And this is big, right? If this is small, these two digits will get one cup. Okay. One big cup for the first two digits only. Okay? Now, let me do the problem here. Here, 14 divided by 2. Okay? How many cups are there? One. One. So the answer will be in only one digit. That is very important to know the cups. Put the pointer here, okay? Two times what is seven? Two times what number is 14? Two times seven is 14. Okay? The cup determines how many digit answer it is. Okay. Okay? So the answer is seven here, right? Perfect. <coughs> this one, for example. First digit of the dividend and the first digit of the divisor are equal. If they are equal, they get their own cups. Okay? The first digit is big, bigger than the first digit of the divisor. So also they, they get their own cups. Okay? Only when it is small, that's when they, they get one big cup. Now, 24. 2, 4 divided by 2. How many cups do we have? Two. Two cups. One, two. Here the point of course. Two times one is two. Two times, now we move the pointer. Two times two is four. The answer is four. If you see, two digits. <coughs> now, because we know this anyway, we know this one too. This one also I can show you anyway. 36 divided by 2. Answer will be in two digits. Okay? 2 times 1 is 2. Okay? I'll move the pointer. 2 times Two times eight is sixty. The answer is eighteen. Okay. Now, here so far so good. It's very simple and sweet. The kids, if they cheat me at this level, some kids I showed them because some of them did not, they don't know their multiplication. I told them two times what number is two, and some of the smart kids who know the manipulative skills. For this, they know. This is 14. They look for 14. And dividing by 2. This could be the answer, right? They just wrote down the answer. <coughs> this is okay now, because it's only single digit. Now, the problem comes when this <coughs> changes into 240. Okay? When this changes into 140. Okay? 240, you get three cups, right? They get their own cups. Now, 140, they get only two cups.
steps. Now the kid will be confused. Hey, it's one party, it's two party. Why this is two cups and why this is three cups? Because they don't remember this fact that if the first digit is one and the second digit is four, because of that, because of the first digit, it is two digits of one. Okay? Simple for adults to relate this. Let's go the traditional way. 14 divided by 2. In Indian way, what do we do? Oh, 1 is smaller than 2. We, that's how we compare, right? 2 times 7 is 14. Simple. That same thing I'm doing on a backers. But can the kids relate? In all the classes, I think I have one or two kids who do it the perfect way, who know, hey, this is how it worked out. So number is this, then we need to put both of the numbers down because we cannot divide the first number. But a lot of the little ones can okay. So it is important to determine the cups first. That way they know where to put the pointer. If they do not know where to put the pointer, if they just look at the number, 140, right? They put the pointer here, the answer will be 700, not 70. So, this is very complicated and <coughs> very interesting step. This is what where you can see uh, some kids who do focus. You can see how well they can do it. Like kids, some of them they could do this simply. 24 also they could do it. They got the answer to them. 36. The hands go up. What am I doing? Like uh, Abhishek, I think he's like, he raised his hand. He's like, Bhavani, I don't know what to do. Now it is 36. So they need to know space 2. So far we have been learning only 2. 2 times 7 is 14. Take away both the numbers. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 4 is 2 times 2 is 4. That's very simple. 36. What should I do? 3. There is no 3, right? There's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 only. So they need to know, hey, 2 times 1 is 2, which is less. 2 times 2 is 4, which is bigger. We need to use 2 times 1 is 2. We need to take out 2 only. Then we have 16. 2 times. 2 times 1 is 2. Okay? 2 times 8 is 16. See, even I went wrong without my pointer. Did you see? Instead of putting yeah. yeah. it here, here my finger went there. So these are the little drawbacks. So it's to learn, it's multiple steps. I've seen the little ones doing that, but kids who know the multiplication tables thoroughly, they can do it very confidently. First, the logical decision which is involved that you need to decide how many digits the answer will be. To that, they need to de determine the digits, how many cups. First step is done. If they go wrong there, the answer is wrong, no matter how well they can do the multiplication. The second step is able to do the multiplication clearly. To know that they need to buy hard it. And know when I say, hey, two, how many times it will go into 14? Some people there is 14 times two, which is 28, instead of dividing. So it is a simple, complicated thing. I prefer them not doing that at home, especially like Amruta and four other kids. Amruta can do it. Anya, she tried nicely traditional way. She did a pretty good job traditional way. And uh, but we need to see how she will do it on the, uh, with the balance. And then all the little ones need to work. Some of them they proceeded a little bit, but they took back. It's like too much kind of thing. So let them do chapter three homework at home, chapter four, first three pages of the classwork at home. The first three pages is very simple. If you see any multiplication or division problems, people, kids who can do, let them do. If they cannot do, I'll take it out. That way I'll focus just on multiplication and divisions for the couple days. And kids who do not know the tables, it will be good if you get started them at home. Or I have to stop, put them ahead, and I'll make them practice. Instead of doing the math, they'll be sitting and practicing multiplication tables. So that's, that's the option we have. With Abhi, <coughs> just be, it's a simple technique. Don't make it a big deal. Like while going to bed, say, come and just lie down by me, have a little game. What is 2 times 2? Do you know what is 2 times 2? Yeah, 4, 2, 2, 4. 
and make it simple and easy and interesting. So, these are the keys. And they are, these will become more and more complicated now. Three digit multiplications, four digit multiplications. So, it should be, the concept should be clear. Okay? Okay, bye. You did such a good job, okay? Do? Okay? If you don't understand.